you seem to think you have something on me. Maybe you did. Don't you ever, ever come after my family again. Or what? <laughs> is he saying here? What is this? What are you doing? I'm making a big mistake. Snow. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Snowfall Season 4, Episode 3. This is the What to Expect video for Episode 3. This is based off the trailer that they dropped yesterday. And the description for this episode reads, Franklin's troubles extend the gains, putting Sissy in jeopardy. Teddy and Gustavo seek revenge. So, that is the description of this episode. Those are the key elements. Um, the episode is titled All the Way Down. It's about to go down in this next episode. I'm going to tell you that right now. We still got a lot more Snowfall videos, a lot of storylines to break down for you guys. So I want you guys to stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave your theories, predictions, everything down below. Let's get into it. Um, what did we see in this trailer? What can we expect from episode three? Now, what we did see in this trailer is this. Officer Nixon is back once again. And y'all saw how he was at the end of episode two. He was running his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He was thinking that he can do whatever he wants. Well, in episode three, that pattern is going to continue. But this time around, he's going to get a little bit close, a little bit too close to home for Franklin as he's going to do something to Sissy, as we saw in this trailer. Now, Franklin is telling him, don't you ever, you know, do anything or touch my family again, especially his mom's like, are you crazy? Now, me watching this, I'm going to tell you right now. We can expect Officer Nixon's um, death wish. I'm telling you that right now. I mean, he's pretty much signed it and sealed it by even getting too close to Franklin's mom, Sissy. This is a major problem. This is something that you just don't do. You do not get close to the family, especially kids or mothers. Um, you don't do this. But Officer Nixon tells Franklin, well, if I do, what are you going to do or what? What's going to happen? So apparently, Officer Nixon thinks he is the big shot. He thinks he has something on Franklin. Now, as I explained in my official video for the actual season, Officer Nixon does think he has something over Franklin. And this is why Franklin tells him, maybe you thought you had something on me. Maybe in the past you did, but now you don't. Um, for some reason, Officer Nixon thinks he can do whatever he wants to Franklin. But sadly, he's going to find out that he shouldn't be messing around with this kid like that. He is very dangerous and he will take out a cop. He's proved that in the past, right? Now, in this trailer, we also saw Gustavo. And I want you guys just to think, because in this trailer, they're making it seem like certain events happened before. Um, where in this event, we know they're going to seek revenge. They're going to be getting payback, I would think, on that chief of police or whatever. And... It's going to be some problems. Now, we know that Gustavo and Teddy are doing their thing. They're getting revenge. But the question is, what event happened first? And that goes with Franklin's storyline as well. What event happened first? Now, as for Teddy and Gustavo, did this happen first? And then they kind of got payback on Gustavo later on in the episode? Or what we saw in this trailer as far as Gustavo being hemmed up, kidnapped, did this happen first? Um, based off the last episode, I know Gustavo had a very similar outfit on, which could really mean nothing in these TV shows. But if this happened after Gustavo got revenge, that's a sad day for him. Now, this happened at the very beginning of the episode, probably right after Gustavo found his family missing and stuff. It makes sense to me because we saw in this trailer Gustavo get hit in the back of the head with the strap. And then we saw him, of course, tied up to the chair. So maybe this happened right after episode two. I am hoping that it happened after episode two and Gustavo is released and then they seek revenge because it would be kind of bad if Gustavo does all of this payback and then he gets hemmed up and then he gets, you know, beat down and he's going to need that help from Teddy. Now, in this trailer, we also saw the guy getting thrown over the roof. And like I said, this guy has to be connected to that police chief or it could be someone that got in Gustavo's way. The last thing that you want to do is touch his family and if you guys notice it seems like his revenge coming from gustavo when you messing with his family and it's going to be revenge coming from franklin saint when you mess with his family now they show officer nixon he's coming in and he's going to arrest sissy right 
This is what he's going to do. Now, as I told you guys earlier, what event happened first? Did this happen first? And then Franklin told Officer Nixon, don't you ever touch my family again? Or did Franklin already tell him this? And then Sissy is arrested. And then Officer Nixon decides to take her in, take her to a cemetery. I mean, come on. This is crazy, right? This is crazy. She's at a grave site. I don't know what Officer Nixon thinks he's going to do. But I'm telling you right now, whatever he does, he better hope he does not touch this lady. He better hope Franklin doesn't come after him. It's already too late. You already know it's too late. You don't do this to a man's mom, especially someone like Franklin Saint. You just don't do it. But as I told you guys, Officer Nixon, he thinks that he can control Franklin. He thinks that he has some type of clout, um, power over him. He can do whatever he wants. Um, I guess that badge... He thinks he's Captain save -a or whatever. I mean, I don't know. This guy is pretty much done for. And it's just a matter of time before it happens. Hopefully, Officer Nixon does not survive too long. He needs to be taken out. Whether Franklin does it or someone else, he needs to be taken out. But to be 100% honest with you guys, when you touch someone, someone's family like this, you know what I'm saying? Getting too personal with them. The person that you did this to needs to put you down. So if I'm Franklin saying... I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't want to hire nobody to do this. I don't want them to do it. I want to make this personal because when you get that close to my family, you're going to have to pay. So does that mean Franklin is going to do this himself or maybe he uses his outlet to get back to Officer Nixon? At the end of the day, to be 100% honest, Franklin has to be very smart on his, you know, his answer to this. He has to be smart on which way he wants to handle this because... If he overreacts and if he makes another mistake like he did in episode two, it can be all bad news because not only does he have to worry about the gang activity and what's going on with Scully and Man Boy, he also has other enemies. He also has other problems with, of course, law enforcement, Officer Nixon, which could be a huge risk. And he knows this. So his approach has to be very smart, regardless if it is his mom. Franklin has to make sure his next move is his best move and that if he does do anything to Officer Nixon, nothing can be traced back to him. So we're going to see how this goes. This is not going to be a, a good ending for Officer Nixon, in my opinion. I just can't see it ending in a good way for him. Yes, he's going to laugh now, but I'm telling you right now, he will be crying later in man. That boy going to suffer. You already know he's going to suffer, right? Y'all know what's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. I mean, you just don't touch his bombs after he told you not to. So I'm wondering what did he do before? Like I said, if he arrested her and he did this and took her to the grave site, then Franklin told him after, it makes sense. But if he already went to her before that, that makes it even worse. So that means that he went to her twice. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see how it all plays out. We're going to see what happens first because, you know, in these trailers, they show certain things to try to make us believe that certain things are happening. Um, similar to how they was making it seem like, of course, your boy Franklin was going to side with Scully, but that did not happen. He used man boy, right? He chose man boy side. So we're definitely going to talk about that as well. And we're going to talk about the um, what's to come for this season's trailer that they dropped. They dropped that trailer at the end of episode two um what's to come in season four and then they dropped the episode three trailer yesterday um on fx on the youtube so we're going to talk about that trailer as well what's to come for season four so be ready for that thank you guys for all the support all the love y'all been giving me a lot of uh support with this snowfall series i'm glad that everybody's back and it's time to continue to talk about snowfall man because we just getting started we still got a lot of season to go and a lot more craziness to talk about it's about to go down and before i end the video i seen somebody said that they don't do not they don't do not trust t and t is of course franklin's old ex flame or whatever someone said that she cannot be trusted what do you guys think do you think that franklin should be watching his back around her he should be watching what he's doing around her you know what i we know what i say i always say you can't trust nobody you have to always keep your awareness very high when it comes to anybody. Um, but as of right now, she does seem cool. But we just don't know her true agenda at the end of the day. She could be up to something. Is this girl up to something? We're going to talk about that 
in um, upcoming videos. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. I will continue to give you guys more of Snowfall Season 4 content in the future. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.